So this lady decides she's going to surprise her husband. Lady's talking to her doctor. She said, I just had a baby. When should I feel normal? He said, when the kid graduates from college. <laughs> Politically incorrect joke for the day. Here we go. So this guy's got a real bad stutter, and he's going to start selling books door to door. And so, how many hours? Boss, you think you can do that? I think I can do this. So he goes and he gives him a big load of books, and he comes out the next day. Comes back that day with just nothing but receipts and a bunch of cash. Do you are they looking for people for weekends? You know what? Let's try this again. Could be beginner's luck. So here's what I mean. They say big load of books. Send him on his way. Comes back at the end of the day. Nothing but cash. This old man and this old couple walk into this bar and they, they sit down at the bar and the guy hops right up and starts going around and flirting with all these women, just flirting with all the women. Da, 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 da. And the bartender the woman says, doesn't this upset you a little bit? And she says, no, not really. So you're not upset you that your husband's going around and flirting with all these women? She said, look, just because the dog chases a car doesn't mean he's going to catch him doing it. Uh, I don't want to do bookkeeping anymore. You have to worry about that. It's so easy when one so guy have to write on it. So it's called. It's called HR. Okay, sure. Oh, okay. It's right on here. Here? Yeah. I'm not sure I can do this with Barb, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah. So, this guy goes into the store there. He goes and into. What Victoria's Secret. And, uh, he says, I need to buy a bra for okay. my wife. I'm not sure what the size is. She said, well, you know, you want a resume? Why don't you, don't you don't have to. feel around my mind? Maybe this will refresh your memory and uh, you, you can see the size is close. He said, okay. She needs panties, too. So. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I have to So it's a big family reunion, there's a grandpa and he's sitting there and the kids think it's going to be funny so they, they have this Viagra to all they got to put it in grandpa's drink and just sit there. So this could be kind of cute, this could be cute. So they put in grandpa's drink and after a while he says, I've got to go to the bathroom. He goes to the bathroom and comes back and he's peeing in his pants. Bookkeeping, I'm good on the computer, I can do it. So what happened? He says, well, I went in the bathroom and I went in my pants and I didn't recognize this so I put it back in my pants. <laughs> This drunk guy gets on this bus, you just stare and it pops right down next to Oh, so you only put your resume in one time. Great. That sounds bad. You know you're going to hell. Sounds bad. I'm on the wrong bus. Sorry. Thank you. Because I've been thinking about it.
about it. I'm like, come on, wonder how you go about getting that job. You know? And I know for me, I mean, you know, Kim is still working. Yeah, I can't do that one. Ah, come on. Interview for you. They don't ever offer benefits if they work for you know, uh, uh, Just so you know, that's, we found out. That's a. Uh, because I have no benefits right now. I do, but I pay a thousand dollars a month. I don't know. Let's do a warm up for it first. Because I'm on. It was from Adam get, from Cobra. From so this guy's running from the MPs. He didn't want to be in the I'm army. He's running from the MPs. And because I know. I'm he's, uh, but. Um, you know, I had he sees this really tall nun, and he goes up and he says, I need to hide under your habit. So, so, so he crawls under the nun's habit, my, and the MPs run by, and he says, I'm close. He gets out and says to the nun, you know, i got to tell you, you know, you got the nicest, I mean, sweetest legs I've ever seen. And the nun says, you didn't look high enough. I don't want to be in the army either. He can't get him for you. No, I It's scary to be older you get. I ended up in the hospital here for seven days. So this couple's uh, making out this car. This, uh, horrible this car. stomach issue, and they couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it ended up costing. The couple's making out this car, and he's getting pretty friendly. And then I the lady says, would you like to see where I got my appendix out? He says, no, hospital but scare me. <laughs> This lady's got two monkeys. I'm away from Medicare. <laughs> Already you like it enough. She's got two monkeys and they're really close. They're really close monkeys. They're really, really, really close to each other. And unfortunately, one of the monkeys dies. I'm 65 Of old age. You look great. You look very nice. And the other monkey is so heartbroken that... It dies a couple of days later. It's just heartbroken. So she takes it to him. She loves yeah, it. She takes him to the taxidermist. He says, I like it. got two monkeys. He says, would you like it? And mounted. She says, no, just holding hands is fine. <laughs> Oh, Here's another filler. Get ready to go. I like it. Nobody else can like it. I saw you poured some of this inside. So this guy's all excited. He's talking to his little old barber. This barber just, you know, he's funny. This guy, everybody knows this guy. They just know everything. And they're smarter than everybody. And they're smarter than everybody. Actually, I feel way too much. So he's talking to his little old barber. He said, well, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to go over to the Vatican. And I guess, uh, we're going to take a trip to Rome. We're going to go to the Vatican. Oh, you know, I went to the Vatican. Really, you know, really. Well, we're saying the Vatican Hilton. What right next to this. Oh yeah, I say there's a crummy hotel. I tell you, it's, you know, well, you know what? We're gonna enjoy it. Okay. So, sure enough, the oh, yeah, yeah, guy comes back a couple weeks later and he yeah, yeah. goes in there, and talks to his middle old barber, and he says, "Well, how was it? was great." More towards Brownwood. Yeah. So say, though, yes, it was great. And actually, we got a private tour of the bathroom. We met the Pope. So really, say, yeah. What did the Pope say? Where'd you get that crummy haircut? All right, try a couple more, Mike. It's nice when you can take care of your parents, you know. Yeah. So, uh, little Johnny. <laughs> oh. My mom is great. Well, Johnny's on the playground yeah. at school, and he sees his dad and Aunt Jane uh, drive a car into the woods. Oh. He's looking over there, and uh, sees him getting pretty friendly, so, uh, <laughs> So he goes home to mom and says, Mom, guess what I saw today? She said, what? I said, I saw Aunt uh, Jane and Daddy uh, drive the car in the woods. Really? Yeah. And then he took her blouse off. And said, well, she said, wait a minute. Why don't we stop right here and you can <laughs> save this story for dinner. <laughs> said, okay. 
So later they're having dinner that night, and there's uh, Daddy and little Johnny, and Mommy's sitting there, and Mommy said, anything happen at school day? Well, yeah. I saw Daddy and Aunt, John, Aunt, Aunt Jane drive the car over there into the woods, and Daddy goes, huh? So, yeah. And Mom said, then what happened? She said, well, I saw him take her Aunt Jane's blouse off. She said, really? And then what happened? Well, then they started doing the same thing that you did with Uncle Bill while Daddy was in the army. <laughs>